Anna. Thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome back to my YouTube channel if you are new. My name is Anna and if you're returning, hey sis. Um, so as you can see by the title, today is going to be a story time. We're going to talk about how I found out I was pregnant at 17 years old. So we're just going to get into it and recollect what happened darn near five years ago. Cause All right, we're going to bring it back. So we are in the state of Rhode Island. Yup. It's March of 2017. And I am currently, I'm going through like this rebellious stage of my life where I just want to do whatever the hell I want to do. Ain't nobody going to catch me. Cause you're I just wanted to be outside living a hot girl summer and that's what I was doing. Jay, that's the that's my baby daddy's name. My baby daddy's name is Jay. So, um me and Jay were together for I want to say 7 months. 7 months before I found out I was pregnant. Um, my best friend name at the time, her name was Nadia. So me and Nadia are together, like me and this girl are every, together every single day, every single day of the week. And clearly like, y'all know when you with your best friend every single day of the week, your periods are in sync. So every single month that my best friend got her period, I will get my period a few days later or a few days before. And that was every single month so basically this march came and she got her period and i'm like oh my god i really don't feel even feel like getting my period but i know like it's gonna come tomorrow or in two days from now whatever the case may be but i wasn't really focused and i really wasn't paying attention about my period so before i knew it my best friend told me oh like i'm finally off my period and i'm just like hold up what? What you mean? He's like, I'm on my period. Like, I'm on my period anymore. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Your period is over. And mine hasn't even started yet. This is when I started to realize that I might be pregnant. Now, I was sitting here like, you know what? Maybe... You know, I'm not going to go based off another woman's body as to why I haven't got my period yet. The month is still not over. I still have time. So I was like, it's going to come. I was in denial, you guys. I was, I was like, it's going to come. So days, 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 days go by. And I was with my baby daddy and he, my baby daddy had a best friend. And I have my best friend. So my best friend name was Nadia. And his best friend name was Jay. Me and Jay and the other Jay and Nadia decided that we were gonna, you know, link up and do some illegal activities at the time. <laughs> it's not legal no more, but you know, we were gonna cook, we were gonna chill, we were gonna smoke, we were gonna um drink and just have a good time. Get lit, you know, get me lit. So we were um in the car, we were hot boxing and we were smoking and like I can insert a clip of the vibe that was going on and reason during this link up I started crying and I started crying hysterically and i didn't know why i was crying i was just crying 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 and then jay was like yo like what's going on like why are you crying i don't know i'm just crying and i'm hard and i don't know what's going on i'm just i don't know what's going on so he was like okay like you know do you want to go home and i'm like no i don't want to go home i want to smoke and we just continued to smoke so after that we had such a fun time we had such a good time that like we were having like our own little party in a car so we was like in a garage like it was in Pawtucket. like it was a garage and 
they have like graffiti on the walls and i don't know if i can find it in wall but if i can i will insert it in the video of like it was just cool it was a vibe the music was blasting we were vibing we were um intoxicated and it was just a good time so we decided to do it again the next day <laughs> but instead of doing it in the car we we're gonna go to um jay the best friend's house so we um went to his house or whatever we got liquor we got weed we um went to the house and we were about to get lit again and something just kept telling me like i don't want to keep getting lit without knowing what's going on with my body so we ended up um the best friend and my best friend his best friend and my best friend were like oh like we should go get something to drink we didn't have nothing to drink at the house so we were all like we're gonna go to walgreens we're gonna go get some arizona's so me and my baby daddy left and went to walgreens to go get um, arizona's so we got our arizona's and i end up looking up at the signs and i am looking up the signs and i see the feminine pregnancy aisle and something just kept telling me to go down that aisle so i went down the aisle and i found the pregnancy test and i grabbed the pack of three and mind you, my baby daddy is literally right behind me, walking behind me. He's just like, what are you doing? 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 You know what the fuck I'm doing? I'm getting a fucking pregnancy test. So, um, I grabbed pregnancy test and at this point, he is silent. Like he's not talking the happiness is gone the 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 it's a vibe gone like he's just like um we get to the cashier get to the cashier and i put the pregnancy test look at him and then he looks at me and then he's like and he hands over his card and, and then i swipe the card and then um we pay for the arizona's whatever we leave in the car dead silent So we end up getting back to the best friend's house. When we get back to the best friend's house, I pull out the pregnancy test and my best friend's on me like, yo, like, this is about to happen. Like, what are you doing? And like, we're going to do this today. And I'm just like, yeah, because I don't want to keep getting drunk and intoxicated and high if I have a fetus inside me. It makes, it makes sense. So I went in the room and mind you i'm just thinking i'm thinking i'm not pregnant i'm thinking i'm just going you know clear my mind and go back to that vibe but go inside the bathroom um get one pee on it waiting 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 and it comes back inconclusive so now we're just looking at it like really can it be any more anticipating? So next time, I'm gonna pee on both of them. So I peed on both of them, put like the other two. I put those pregnancy tests on the counter in front of me. I was sitting on the toilet going back and um, the timer went off and I looked over and I saw this. I didn't know what it was at the time, but this is what I saw. And after I saw that, I immediately started to break down i started to break down i started to cry i started to hyperventilate and i immediately fell down to my knees and i felt like my whole world was crashing beneath me and um the first thing i did was um walk outside <laughs> and my baby daddy just looked at me and looked at his boy and just walked into the room away and I knew like he just had probably a million things that were running through his head at the time because um, at the time we were just going through our own personal issues that I'm not going to get into, but he had a whole bunch of stuff that was running through his head, of course, and he just needed a second to go. So at that point, I'm not even paying attention to him. I'm paying attention to myself. I just found out I'm pregnant. And I'm with my best friend, I'm just like, boiling my eyes out and i'm just like she's like it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay 
and I immediately get my phone and I call my brother. I look up to him for everything and like my mom being mad at me, I don't give a rat's ass. But my brother being mad at me, like, I will start breaking down my brother's mad at me. So I immediately called him, and as soon as I called him, he told me to calm down, calm down, calm down. And I was sitting there on the phone like, oh my god, Stevie, I just want to let him bring it. But he said, figure out what you're going to do and let me know. And I said, okay. Hung up the phone. Then at that point, the night was kind of dying down, so we ended up... Going into the room, we all slept over having this big like a sleepover. So um I was with my man and my best friend was like her man and we were just sleeping, like no was having no no nothing nasty was happening. I just found out I was pregnant, bitch. We was shook. We was in a shook mode. We were like leaving me with bed because this is this is something else. And um my baby daddy just held me all night and just caressed me and just told me that we were going to be okay. And um, I kept asking, like, what were we going to do? And he just said, I don't know. Like, I don't know. So, he didn't know. We were just, so we didn't know what we were going to do, but we went to sleep. We woke up, and I remember I woke up, and I went outside, and it was a, I had a parking ticket for overnight parking. And I was like, are you fucking serious? It was a twenty dollar ticket that ended up actually being a sixty dollar ticket because I didn't pay it. And um I went home. Now that morning we talked about it and he was basically like, I don't believe those tests. It was really faded and I was like, maybe it's not positive. But then we read in the instructions, as you can see, that it clearly states that it doesn't matter how faint the line is if you see even even like a slither of a double cross you are pregnant it's just you don't your levels are not high enough for the pregnancies to come up with like a strong a strong cross but you're pregnant so either way my baby daddy wanted a blood test he said you go to the hospital and get a blood test so i said okay went to the hospital as i was going to the hospital like i said me and my mom were not on good terms at the time um and I think it was about going on um, three weeks, three weeks since some change that I haven't spoken to her or seen her. While I was about to walk into the hospital, I got a text message and it was my mom. And my mom texted me basically saying that she loved me and she cared about me and no matter how rocky our relationship gets, she's always gonna be there for me. And at that point, as I was walking into the hospital getting that text message from my mom that I haven't even spoken to for the past three weeks, um, I felt like she knew, like she knew that something was probably wrong. Perfect timing, come on. So as soon as I got that text message, I immediately called her and bawling, bawling, bawling my eyes out. Um, and I basically told her I was pregnant. And she said, oh, um, you're gonna have to call her back because she's at work. So this is clearly a conversation that is a long conversation and I, she was at work and I called her, so she answered it. So um, I was like, okay, she said she loved me and that we would talk about this later. And I said, and I told her I was at the hospital and I was about to get a blood test. Went to the hospital, um, got a blood test and I was waiting, 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 waiting. And then all of a sudden the nurse comes in and the nurse is like, oh, okay, so, um, like, when do you want your first checkup to be? When do you want your first vaccinations? When are you gonna do your next ultrasound? Da 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 da. And I'm sitting there like, and she's looking at me like, what? And I'm just like, I'm pregnant. And she was like, oh, nobody came in and told you that yet? And I looked at her like, no. You just, you just told me that right now, that I'm pregnant, I'm freaking pregnant. And she's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like I sort of typed that and I actually apologized. Like she thought I already knew that I was pregnant. So she like was coming, you know, she was ready to do her job. She was ready to set her appointment. She was ready to start booking me for what I'm gonna do. And I'm just like, I was like, okay, I'm pregnant. Fuck. <laughs> 
abortion was being pushed um not by me <laughs> but um abortion was being a topic of the air and i really 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 felt like they didn't want to do that because i felt like it was just against my beliefs i felt like i just needed to take responsibility for my actions and my baby daddy was more so concerned about his future and his life and our life together and that we shouldn't be bringing a baby into it right now in the second and the third and i said yes of course i understand you know that we are young and this that and the third and it's going to be hard and it's going to be this and we're not going to be we're not going to be able to you know enjoy our 20s or whatever the case may be but shouldn't have sex the fuck <laughs> like shouldn't have sex <laughs> like you should have got him on like you should have thought of that like the fuck okay so i didn't even tell you guys how i got pregnant so i was on the pill i was on the birth control pill for three freaking years and I was fighting with my mom. Me and my mom were not on good terms. And my mom, I was on my mom's insurance, her health insurance. So my mom was basically trying to find ways to discipline me because she ran out of options. She took away my phone. I went and got my own phone. She did this. She would lock the door, lock me out. I would go sleep somewhere. Like, I would sleep with my man or I would sleep with my best friend. And I'll come back home and take a shower. And it wasn't working. Like... And I just was being, like I said, I was being really rebellious. And I was being a bad child. I was having, trying to have a hot girl summer. And my mom was trying to prevent things, but it didn't work. Um, but it worked, baby. Well, she didn't work. So she thought that a way that she could punish me was to take me off of her health insurance. So basically, I took my last pill, went to, I took my second to last pill. Basically, I went into CVS and... I went into the pharmacy and I was like, oh, I'm, you know, here's my name, here's my date of birth, I'm here to pick up my birth control. The pharmacy tech was like, okay, I did, 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 got up, I was like, that's gonna be $40. And I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Fuck you talking about? What do you mean with $40? Like, you got the wrong girl. You put my name wrong because I don't pay for my birth control. And, um, I didn't say it like that, of course. You mean an angel? I'm just like, what do you mean? Like, I don't understand what's going on. And she was like, oh, your health insurance ended a month ago. And I was like, what? I was like, what? What do you mean? My birth control ended a month ago. Like, what do you mean? And she was like, yeah, you don't have birth you don't have not your birth control your health insurance ended a month ago and i was like so i have to pay for it and she was like yeah and i was like oh my i was so mad at my mom because i was like are you serious what mother you know take away the health insurance she took away my health insurance y'all she didn't give a fuck if i crashed in a car crash i ain't got no health insurance that's the only way that she could discipline me because i wasn't even in the house anymore i paid for that shit myself more or less. So either way, the birth control got paid for. And um, I told myself that I was just wasn't going to have sex until I got back on the pill. <sighs> Guys, please listen to me. When you have sex, sperm don't just go in your vagina and it just disappear. So don't think that because it don't. Sperm stays inside your vagina for three days. Okay, you have sex today that he go ahead and thinking you, it's going to stay in your vagina for like another 48, 74 hours. So I didn't know that. So I told y'all it was my second to the last pill. So I had sex that day and I didn't have sex the next day. Then the next day I didn't take my pill because I didn't have my pill. That's where I fucked up because the sperm was still inside me. I got pregnant, y'all, because sperm stays inside you for three days. I didn't have sex, but I had sex the day prior. So because I had sex the day prior and I didn't take my pill the next day, the sperm, it, I thought it was like a plan B every day, but no, it's not what it is. This was the decision. So clearly you guys know what my decision was, but we're gonna go into a little bit of depth. As I, I don't know if you guys remember, but earlier in the video I stated that my brother told me to let me know what my decision was going to be. 
weeks went by and are you knocking yeah. open the door i was very early in my pregnancy when i found out that i was pregnant i was like three weeks pregnant because like i said my period was supposed to come and it didn't so as soon as it didn't come i got tested and like i also said the pregnancy just was very very fainted so i was very 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 early in my pregnancy when i found out because girl off the top of that shit i don't know how to be four months pregnant don't know one month pregnant and i knew so um so my brother sent me the 600 dollars and he told me that if you keep the baby um he told me if you keep the baby i'm gonna be here for you if you give the baby up for adoption i'm gonna be here for you and if you want to get an abortion i'm gonna be here for you and i'm not gonna let you feel like you don't have all options available to you so here and he sent me 600 dollars and at that point i did not tell my baby daddy that he sent me the money for the abortion because the fuck they didn't um but he did and um at that point i had like a real decision to make because now it's like before i didn't have we didn't have the money for the abortion um but now i did so now i took like a week or two to decide whether or not i was gonna keep my baby or just go and take a pill or and just delete it um i decided to keep my baby And I sent my brother back half the money. That's how I found out I was pregnant. Boom. Disclaimer, don't have sex till you're married because don't have sex till you're freaking married. All right, all my little youngins watching this video. If you guys want to know how I did it, how I was able to get on my feet as a teen mother, that video will be posted next, okay? So thank you so much for watching. If you stuck all the way to the end, you a real OG. Go ahead and hit that notification button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that like button and leave a comment down below. And follow me on all my social medias at XO Lamar XO. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next video.